Uh, I've been a cop in Owensburg, Kentucky for most of my life. It wasn't something that I'd aspired to become. It, well, it happened because the female recruitment officer who visited my community college on career day had the best tits I'd ever seen. <laughs> I thought that if I signed up and showed some enthusiasm, she might sleep with me. Well, she didn't. Now there I was, decades later, a pot-bellied, double-chin homicide detective with hemorrhoids and perpetual rhinitis, gray in hair, and nicotine-stained teeth. I gave up on the cigarettes and my wife and I were trying in vain to have kids and I managed to stay off of them after the divorce, but I just couldn't bring myself to have my teeth whitened. Everybody would assume I did it to get laid and well, he'd be right since I hadn't had any action in a couple of years. I often wondered whatever happened to that recruitment officer. And if her tits still offered so much promise. I didn't have to answer it to know that someone was dead. Flannick. I'm on it. Stop right there. Did you bring me a bagel? Thanks, bud. Were you going to eat it or analyze it? I'm saving it for later. I'll eat it in the car on the way back. Well, that's too bad. I was hoping you could tell me what passes for cheese on those things. You bring any butter or breakfast spread? What's breakfast spread? It's the stuff that's not butter or margarine. I appreciate you putting that in layman's terms for me. You think you can do the same for the stiff? Um, a bumsicle. Uh, I'm gonna need a little more than that. Well, female Caucasian, mid to late 30s, no apparent signs of trauma. Looks to me like she just laid under a bush and froze to death. Any ID? Pockets were empty, but we'll roll her prints back at the morgue. No need. You know her? Well, I haven't seen her in two years. Nobody has. I gotta give the chief a call. She's someone that important. Just his wife. Lissy Masters had a disturbing habit. Every now and then she'd wake up in the wee hours with a craving for a smoke or sweets. She'd grab some cash and she'd walk a couple of blocks to the Diamond Delights. Now it wasn't her late night walks that disturbed people. It was that Lissy didn't bother getting dressed for them. The first time she showed up, the clerk didn't know whether to sell her a slice or, or drag her behind the counter for his interpretation of what made the diner so delightful. Well, he sold her the slice and he let her walk out. Thank you. An astonishing decision considering that he was a paroled sex offender. When the clerk found out later that she was the wife of a deputy police chief, 
He considered her naked nocturnal visits a divine test of his character, proof of God's hand at work. It led him straight to Jesus. Lissy was blessed in that way. She didn't have to adjust to the world. It twisted itself all out of shape to adjust to her. At least it used to. You know, I tried to help her. Put her in the rehab three times. Though drugs and alcohol were never her problem. I wish they were. At least I could have understood that. I'm afraid you're going to have to go down and identify the body. I'm aware of what I have to do, Flannick. Yes, sir. Do you have any idea where she's been or how she ended up in the park? Uh, no, I don't. Uh, I, I have some officers down there talking to the homeless to see if anybody's seen anything. She wasn't homeless. She had a home. A damn good one. Yes, sir. You think if she was living on the streets of my city, I wouldn't know about it? That we all would have? Uh, well, I, I, I'm just uh, trying to follow standard procedure, sir. It's, uh, well, it, it's like canvas in a neighborhood for witnesses. The, the park is their neighborhood. I, it, it's either talk to the homeless or the squirrel. Yes. Are you sure about how she died? Well, there's nothing to indicate uh, a homicide. The coroner's pretty sure that she froze to death, but we won't have the autopsy report until this afternoon. Do me a favor. Go down to the morgue and wait on that report. I don't want the press getting it before I do. I'm sorry for your loss, sir. Inside looks so lovely from the outside. We hold our secret dreams up to the light, hoping someone will take the time. We stand until the scream becomes a sigh, and if you try to fly. You crash into the wire You try to fly You fall into the fire You try to fly You fall down from the sky Cause you're always the one You're always the one You're always the one I drove Lissy home once Left behind I dropped her off around the corner so masters wouldn't see me a few hours later, she walked back out of the night and disappeared. That was two years ago. So how'd it go? Well, as hard as I tried, I couldn't revive her. You got some change for the vending machines? <sighs> you make at least 20 grand more than I do. Yeah, but you have pockets. And I don't. Thank you. She froze to death. That's all you've got to tell me? I thought you'd be relieved. Well, I am, but you know, with the chief involved, I'm gonna have all the details. Well, 
Besides being a little drunk, there's no drugs in her bloodstream, no needle tracks, no suspicious cuts, bruises, or abrasions. Nothing but corn nuts. What? Corn nuts? Yeah. Those are corn nuts. No one likes to eat corn nuts. You cleaned out the machine, man. You devastated it. If you gave a damn about any of us down here, you'd have the courtesy to at least leave one bag of chips. Does that mean I can have my money back? She had sex before she died. She was raped? I didn't say that. There was no physical evidence of force. But I did get enough seminal fluid for a DNA match, if you think you'll ever need it. Whoever it is, he doesn't have to worry about child support. Because she's dead? No, because there are more nuts in this sack than sperm in his. If you get my meaning. Can you tell me the time of death? No. Can't you take a guess? A few months ago, a couple of hikers in Spain found a guy frozen in the snow on a mountaintop. They called the police. Seems he'd been missing for quite a while. In fact, a few thousand years. Maybe a hundred thousand. I don't know. What does that have to do with Lissy Masters? The point is, they wouldn't have known when he f froze to death if it hadn't been for certain evolutionary changes. The clothes and tools they found beside him. We haven't evolved that much since Lissy Masters died. And since we had a warm summer, I can only assume she died sometime this winter. I'm going to need you to do me a favor before you turn that uh, autopsy over to the chief. Why should I? Well, for starters, you owe me a buck for the corn nuts. Uh, if you guys ever try to fire those weapons, you're liable to hurt yourself worse than the people you're shooting at. Uh, see, that grip is cool, but, uh, it's about as effective as trying to fire the weapon with your foot. And that stance is only effective if you're shooting at something up over your head. So, won't you just put those guns away and relax for a little bit, all right? So, where's the perp? Uh, well, in the time that it took y'all to respond to the silent alarm, he could be halfway to Nashville by now. But, as luck would have it, the perpetrator who broke into this house is still right here. He's in the freezer? No, he's sitting in this chair putting his badge back in his pocket. You broke into the house? I did. Do you have a, a search warrant? Oh, no. I couldn't get one of those even if I tried. Which I didn't because... Well, whether I have a warrant or not, it's not going to really matter. Um, what I would like is for y'all to wait around with me here for a while. What for? Well, uh, assistance in a homicide investigation. Did your uh, dispatcher call this in to the homeowner and tell him it had been a break-in? Yeah. Well, shouldn't be too long now, then. Uh, won't y'all pull up a chair? Wait a while. You might learn two or three things while you're here. Either one of you guys ever try to join the police department? I didn't make the height requirement. Or the, uh, the weight. And you? Well, the department doesn't recognize the, uh, high school equivalency certificate of completion as a valid diploma. It's jealousy. How do you figure that? 
anybody with half a brain can see that someone who graduates early is smarter than someone who takes four years to learn the same stuff, right? So rather than have any intellectuals around making them look stupid, they don't let us in. I believe you might have a legitimate grievance. I, I think you ought to take it up with the chief of police. What do you say, chief? What the hell are you doing here, Flannick? Oh, well, the three of us were just sitting around talking about why you might have a padlock on your freezer. Uh, do a lot of frozen dinners get stolen in this neighborhood? You broke into the chief's house? Are you crazy? No, I just haven't had sex in two years. Two whole years? Mm-hmm. Well, when it's been that long, you don't forget the last time. It was uh, the night your wife disappeared, Chief. I don't know what your problem is, and I don't care. You're fired. Surrender your badge and weapon now. Yeah, Lissy had made one of her naked late night trips to the Diamond Delights that night, and I got the call. We shared a Coke, and then I offered to take her home. While I was driving her, she... She got in my lap, and she started kissing me. Well, I had to pull the car over, or we'd crash. And once that car was stopped, I was a goner. She had me. Well, she did it to embarrass you, to get your attention like everything else she did. But she was beautiful, and she was naked, and she wanted me. I couldn't help myself. You're a miserable excuse for a man. I gotta shoot you right now. Well, it's a good thing for me. I invited some witnesses in. You're finished. <clears throat> I'll see you in prison for this. Well, what happened that night, Chief? Did she have a few drinks? Fall asleep? How long did you wait before you put her in the freezer and locked her in and left her to die? Get him out of here. I'll have officers here in five minutes to arrest him. You know why my wife left me, Chief? Because I make $37,000 a year. And I'm infertile. That's how I know that Lissy didn't die last night. Or last month. Or even last year. That's how I know that she's been in that freezer with your fish sticks and your meat pies. If you were a deputy chief then, she was an embarrassment to you. You knew that you could never be chief while with her around. So you made her disappear. Once you became chief, a little time went by, you dumped her in the park. You knew that the coroner would never be able to determine the actual time that she was frozen. You should have gotten away with it. I still can. What's to stop me from executing you? Shooting these two morons and saying that the intruder did it. The blood sample that I left with the coroner. Right now, he's running a DNA comparison with the semen that he took from the body. They're going to match whether I live or die here tonight. You get so smart, Flannick. I'm not smart. I'm just unlucky. Not half as much as me. Well, I might be working with y'all pretty soon. I hope you put in a good word for me.
Sun.